Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Titan Quest. This is Rhetoral once again. Last time we defeated the powerful shaman which was about level 3. Powerful isn't he? Yes indeed. This is the teleport. As you can see Greece is the first act. And then you have acts all the way over here to the other side. Then you have portals, basically waypoints, which can teleport back and forth to. So there is a over here portal stone. You just use it instantaneous and you can teleport to wherever. And if I think, I think it's also the, yeah. I think that if you're in multiplayer, you can actually teleport to a party member as well if they have this one out. So you can teleport to them immediately. Right, I can get past here. Kill these guys. Hopefully, I get to level. Not pulse. Wrong button. We were leaving our flocks home when the pack of. Oh, that guy basically said, help my friend, he's in a cave further on the road. Firstly, going to see if I can level up. I don't get all that much experience, but it's fair enough. It's decent. It's decent. I must apologize if I slur a little bit. It's in the morning. That's not what, oh well. Is this useful? It's not. Oh well, I can sell it. Call resistance. So yeah, you actually quite need resistance. It's unless you have a almost cheated weapon, which basically just one hits everything anyway. Unless you have that, you don't need Unless you have that, you actually do need resistance. Let's try to find a little more monsters. Seems like all of them are gone. Can't imagine why. Let's just kill these two. Or, oh, more monsters. So, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll just have to comment now and then in between because this is basically just level grinding. It's not all that fun. Hmm. Saitar warrior. Oh, a trust. What's he here? I have stuffs to sell. Yes. And right if okay, if this wasn't where the cave was, then, then it's further on the road. Further down the road. Hello, oh, there's a tire. Say tire. Crows. Oof. <laughs> they turn into a cloud of feathers when they die. I also like that. And like Diablo, there's skeleton remains here and there so if you don't like that it's yes yeah this game is not for you but what did you expect this is greece Greece myth mythology if you haven't already noticed let's kill him let's kill him Ooh. so this ragdoll physics is actually quite fun if you kill them with a too powerful damage attack, they will actually fly off. Sometimes their limbs will remain somewhere and their body just will, yeah. So let's say a part of their body remains and the other flies off. And guess what happens? They get like the longest arms ever. It's so fun. Some enemies, they, when they die, they bug out and they sudden, 
and suddenly their limbs are still moving somehow. I don't know if they fixed it in the anniversary edition. I hope they didn't because that was actually quite enjoyable, quite fun. So now I level up. Let's see. So the circle ones are passive. The the square ones are uh, active skills. So when I use this one, I have to actually use it. Or to use it, I actually need to use it in my action bar or quick slots or yeah, whatever the, whatever they call it here, quick slot. To actually use it. And let's see which one I actually want. Years of training with sword, axe, and club allows you to attack fast and react quickly to at enemy attacks. However, I want dual wheel. That's what I want. So I will choose dual wheel. And I think you can actually. Yes, you can use all of your points right away. So I won't use all of my points right away on dual wield. Um, so yeah, as you can imagine, I need this one to activate this one. And these ones will basically just buff this thing up. Mm, what do I want to choose? Battle Rage is quite useful. Each time I... Each enemy hit will, has chance of send, sending you into a Battle Rage that adds bonus damage to attacks and increase offensive ability for a short duration. This is very useful. So, I will choose that one. <coughs> Pardon? I'll have to <laughs> fix that audio part out. Oh, I got it, got it right away. All my bonuses will be shown on my character and right over here. Battle Rage. Oh, right, I have dual wheel. I can do this. Boop, boop. Mwahahaha. <laughs> There we are. Two weapons. Let's just plunk even more strength. Because who says no to more damage? 16 DPS. Get wrecked, folks. Get wrecked. Right, uh, always forget. It's Chuggle. Let's see him. A human face. This is the guy since before. From before. Uh, what am I? What am I saying? The guy that came from the entrance uh, or the exit of the town. This is the guy he meant. Save him, and you'll get a reward. I think also, let's see, was it L? Yes. Let's head back and see what the guy says once I've helped his friend. Ah, oh, yeah. Right over there. Tell us, still alive? Let's see. Thank you for the nothing, okay. Okay, it was nothing. Let's head back and continue onwards. <clears throat> yes, this is how Greeks ran with the two weapons. <laughs> ah, hey, another fon fountain. Rebirth fountain. Whenever you die, you return over there. I don't know what these are. Just they light up whenever you pass them. It doesn't really look every time 
every time you hit, it doesn't really look like you actually hit them. More like you're booping them on the on the head. Boop, boop. Hey, where? Um, there are. Let's see if I can actually find one soon. There are certain uh, things which you can basically like gems, but they are not gems. They're more like tokens. Whenever you kill an enemy, there's a chance you can act. You can that that kind of enemy can drop a certain token. <clears throat> so if I kill the boss, for example, there's a chance that the boss or the boar itself will drop a token. And these tokens can be socketed into your equipment. I don't know if, it's, if it says something specific like this token can only be put into a weapon. Um, yeah. Thank you. Well, I'll show you as soon as I find one. I Whenever it is, they can sometimes be quite difficult to find. Sometimes they get it right away. Oh, well, we'll see. Hello there, monsters. Come on. Boop. 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 The game will is quite well. It's quite slow in the beginning with no skills, basically, just running around with these slightly outdated animations. I mean, doesn't really look like you're hitting them. But for that time, it was quite enjoyable. It was amazing. Soon, level four. So what we want to do is we want to head first kill this guy. First kill all of the minions. And then kill him. What we want to do is we want to head up to Sparta. Make sure to run back and get the bonus. Or quest reward. Uh, what we want to do is head to Sparta, because they are having some troubles, and then we want to head forward to whatever the Greek city was called, and then finally on to Knossos, or Knossos. I really don't know how to pronounce that. It's, it's, it's Greek. It's Greek, you know, it's Greek. Greek invented names for cities. And yes, I have watched too much of my big fat Greek wedding. It's an amazing movie. I highly recommend it. Hello there, satire monsters. Oh, it's even elite. Well, at least no more. Soon, lo yes, level up. So, I think these guys can act. Yeah, they can actually attack me when I'm not facing them. Actually, I wonder if the best thing would actually be to. Spec upwards because will I get okay? No, I will just get 40 extra. Let's see here. Back, and these things are what you'll do when you're dual wielding. Uh, I think Hugh is a 
attacking with both weapon at once. One of these awesome kind of whirlwind thing. And the other is attacking just quickly. I think. Oh my, oh my, oh my, what to spec on. Let's actually go and get a physical skill, shall we? Okay, let's... Onslaught! No, it's dangerous here. I mean, compared to Diablo 3, the animations and everything is quite dull compared to Diablo 3. But can you re. Is it real fair to compare a game this old with a game like Diablo 3? Is it fair? No. Oh, Experience Shrine. Exactly what I wanted. Any day now. Now I do have a little problem with finding certain games to play, so if you have any recommendations, or any suggestions, Leave them in the comments. Just pointing that out. Cause I've I have basically so many games I have no idea what to play. Come on. There we are. Open the chest. Give me loot. Well, I got coins. It's something. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get over a level 8 item. I'm just level 4. That one's actually quite... Okay, 8%, maybe that, maybe not that much. Uh, increase health, why not? I thought I leveled up there, but it was a little too quick to level up. The necklace! Oh, made it... The necklace! Ah, bow string right over here. Basically, these things are some kind of tokens. Oh, in this case, it's a relic, uh, and you can combine three to make it even more powerful. I think each time you combine it with another, it gains a little more power. Yeah, can enchant bows only, so you can only enchant this to a bow. So basically, I think you can enchant it to any bow. Let's onslaught! Onslaught everything! Why am I so slow? Okay. Onwards for great justice and silly walks. The Spartan army. Yes, you'll find them just up the road. They've built a Sparta. There's actually a group of skeleton monsters over here to the east or to the right right over here Let's see if I can actually kill them because they will in the end give me quite a lot of experience they might
And I died. Yep. Hey, oh, hello, ball. Let's see if I can kill them this time. Get back my experience. <clears throat> experience reclaimed five. Oh my, that's that's not much. Come on. It's these ranged ones which are usually the problem. Once you kill them, it gets a lot easier. Because they're a lot higher level. One would think the, art, the ranged ones would be even weaker, but in this case, they're a lot more powerful. Come on. Help vision. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. I know you want to die. So yeah, potions is very vital this in this game, as you can probably see right now. Coins! Yay! All them coins! One tactic here is to kill all the weak ones first, then you don't have 500 projectiles at you. Right click, right click, come on, right click. Come on. And if you can dodge the projectiles, it's it's quite good to actually do that. They do hurt quite a lot. At least in the long run. Just come on, die, will you? Level up. <sighs> now what? One, two, three. Because reasons. And then it's all on into strength. This one's. Ooh, this one's a little better than that one. Get eight. Poison resistance, energy regeneration. Mm, whatever. Well, I do need energy, so dexterity would be better. Which one is that one? That one was energy, okay. Let's just finish this part. Yeah, plague ones. My come up. All that loot. Potions, energy, coins. You have no more room. I have no more room. 
health. Do I have any, some junks so that I can throw out? No need for grey stuff. No need for white stuff either. No potion. Let's see this helmet. Piercing resistance. I think I'm taking the 52 extra health. Energy, energy. Core resistance. Yeah, nothing needed. Nothing useful for me. Now let's head over to Spartan Army Camp. After these guys are taken care of. There we are. You could just skip all of this, but you're missing out on half a level. So it's highly recommended. In my opinion. And let's not die of balls. Come on. Die will you. There we are. And we're soon there. Soon. Boop. 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 Here we are. Let's just head in. Spartan War Camp. That was my phone. Okay, we, I'll wrap it up right, right about now. And thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of Titan Quest, leave a like, leave a comment about something. Subscribe if you do like my content. And uh, yes, dislike it if you disliked it, and I'll see you next time.